Lord, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the source of all blessings, be with you all. And with your spirit. The work we are beginning today should enliven our faith and make us grateful. We know the familiar words of the psalm, if the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. Whenever we look to the interests of our neighbor or the community and serve them, we are in a sense God's own co-workers. Let us pray for his help through this celebration. My brothers and sisters, that God will bring this construction to successful completion and that his protection will keep those who work on it safe from, energy, from injury. A reading from St. Paul, the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. You are God's building. We are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, our help is from the Lord. Our, our help, help is, is from, from the Lord. Lord. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our, our help, help is, is from, from the Lord. Lord. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord. Just a couple words here that this this uh, initiative has been like four years um, in the making, and uh, and it was I would say very tenuous whether it was going to actually happen, and, and just the way that it actually happened to me is like. Is, has been an expression of God's presence and uh, that presence coming from you the, the people God here at the Church of the Magdalene we say that our help is in the name of the Lord but as St. Thomas Aquinas says is that almost all of the time God's help to us comes through others he wants to use secondary causes and so that's what we're celebrating that God has worked through this community to do something amazing for adults that um, going forward we're not going to give the adults the scraps like they are to be the first formators of disciples um, of their children and of the youth in the ways of faith and so investing um, in our adults to be living a vibrant spiritual life and and this this can't happen in isolation we have to have spiritual friendship that's why our second priority for our parish priority plan is accompany one another and following Jesus Christ the devil likes nothing other better than to get the Christian alone. It's, it's just the way it is. And so we're met for relationship. And spiritual relationship means friendships that are directed towards growth in the spiritual life. And that's exactly what this discipleship center, that's the purpose of it. And so we are super grateful that, that the Lord has brought us here today, that the Lord has been working through each of the members of this um, and the sacrifices of this parish community um, for the for our next phase to really to take our parish to the next level and so we have a few petitions the response is Lord hear our prayer Lord you have given us the knowledge and power to become your worker co-workers let us bless the Lord Lord hear our prayer through your son you have chosen to build your church upon solid rock let us bless the Lord Lord, hear our prayer. Through the spirit of your son, you form us into a spiritual house where you make 
where you make your dwelling place, let us pray to the Lord. Our Lord, Lord hear our prayer. You inspire in us the firm hope that the building we begin today with your blessing will be brought to completion with your protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With much labor, you shape and polish us into living stones until you make us worthy to build up into a new and holy Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All powerful and all merciful God, you have created all things through your Son and have made him the unshakable foundation of your kingdom. Through the gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that the undertaking we begin today for your glory and our own well-being may progress day by day to its successful completion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for the blessing. May the Lord Almighty bless you and kindly receive the desires of your hearts. Amen. Amen. May the Lord give you trust in him so that you will do all things in his name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord regard your work with kindness and watch over your lives. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've asked uh, all of those of you who've been invited to Make the first uh, dig um, to please come forward. There's a hard hat and a shovel for you. Ready? He's mine. Shovels. It's not a hard hat.